My father purchased it in April of 1980, and at the time, downtown was the place everybody came to shop. We had several furniture stores. We had uh, Woolworth, Perry Brothers, uh, lots of women's clothing stores, several jewelry stores down here. So downtown was the hub where everyone came. And uh, we stayed. We purchased our building in the late 80s. And that's kind of when everybody started leaving downtown. Mm -hmm. And uh, we decided to stay. I had a vision that it would come back. And it did. And I'm glad it did. And so we're one of the fortunate ones. We, we own our property. And we're here through the thick and thin times. And um, very fortunate to be here and glad to see what downtown has become. And rent is a lot more reasonable down here than, say, College Station, the strip malls, uh, the big mall. Rent is quite a bit more affordable down here. It's more of a family. It gets back to your grassroots of the mom and pop shops and shop local. And that's what uh, a lot of people really start realizing that. And what we have to offer down here is unique. Uh, you can shop my furniture store and then a few doors down you can get your hair done. And it's all walking distance and very friendly walking distance. We are mom and pop businesses, you get that special service that you don't get when you go to the mall and you have a regular nine to five employee. They are not invested in that business. It's a job to them. We, this is not only a job, this is our livelihood. We're, we're pleased to be a part of something that's very positive. Uh, this uh, town had uh, a, a really a wonderful African American history uh, associated with the uh, development of the area. And uh, uh, over the years, uh, uh, the African American population has had a very uh, vital, played a very vital role. And it's like a family down here. I, you can walk and go to lunch or stay late, have friends come in, go to dinner. And I, it's, it's more the way it used to be before malls kicked in. And you know, you went in this big air conditioned building and you didn't really know anybody. This way, you do know your neighbors. And we try and, you know, go back to that old fashioned customer service. But I think that's truly what it is, is coming to a downtown area, generally the way most of them are set up, it's about an experience over just, I'm going downtown because I have to go get something out. You know, the mall is like in and out, got to get stuff done. You go to downtown for an experience. You have lunch, you shop around, you walk around, it's nice out in the sun. It's a whole thing. Uh, being downtown, having such a large space is, is unique too because most, most of the you know, buildings are, you know, Pretty narrow. This actually used to be two buildings. Um, side by side, that was just knocked floor. down the, the uh, brick wall on the first floor, and there's still a brick wall on the second floor. People walk in like, wow. And it, it's, it's, it's nice when they um, you know, have, have you know, stretching room in a downtown area. We called it the chocolate gallery because we really wanted it to be set up like a gallery, so, which is why we have the chocolate show pieces, all of our cupcakes, our cookies, everything. We really try and make it look really really beautiful as well as tastes good um, and then we kind of consider ourselves the living art because you can look in the window and watch us work the history too just i mean these buildings have been here for a while um, and so being a part of that history that's really cool um, a lot of the other businesses that are around here the shops and boutiques and um, just all the different things was really a draw in the 1970s, uh, downtown was where you came for the, for the nicest jewelry store. This is where we bought our wedding rings. Uh, the nicest uh, home furnishing store. This is where we registered for our china and our glassware. The ladies, ladies' clothing, men's clothing, shoes. All those stores were down here and they were owned by, by local Bryan and College Station people. But shortly thereafter, the 70s, our town grew, we got a big mall, we got a Walmart, we got the chain stores, and one by one, those mom and pops faded away. I think people are ready for this, where, where they like to come downtown, park right in front of the store, they like to browse, they like to uh, visit the little bit different types of shops that, that can open up down here. Our family's been in the antique business for about five years, and uh, what we did previously, we, we worked antique shows and we also rented spaces in little antique shops 
in several different cities throughout Central Texas. My sister and I saw this building come up for sale and that was just an opportunity we'd been waiting for. We'd looked all over for a retail building that we could purchase and invest our money in. When this spot came up for sale, we knew this was the one. And buying this building was a little different because it's 150 years old. So we're buying a piece of history, and we know the history in this building. It's been a saloon, it's been a, a dry goods store way back in the day. So when we look at pictures of downtown Bryan in the 1850s and 60s, our building is there. So we invested in downtown, we invested in, a, in an antique building, and this is where we wanted to uh, invest in our family business.